Hey guys, it's CD Light here. Actually, this is C, and we're getting ready to leave on our big trip here to Shenandoah Valley. Uh, well, maybe we can meet up with John and Miriam from the YouTubers John and Miriam's travel vlog. But in any case, we have blueberry today packed up. Now, I know you all want to see brownie. Sorry, brownie, but today we're taking blueberry, the original trailer, packed full of all kind of goodies, and we're gonna see how she does on the highway. So we got my bike packed up here, loaded down, and we got Dee's bike here, her Riker, all ready to roll with a few new stickers here. But we're gonna take off in about 15 minutes. Uh, forgive the Dookie Garage, I've been busy. But we'll see how we do here. About a five hour trip, should be a lot of fun. So we'll see how we do, and hopefully we'll see you on the road or back in Shandor Valley. See you guys. Hi, this is Dee here. Just doing a little voiceover. The drive to Shenandoah Valley area was pretty much um, a basic drive on interstate highways. We didn't take any type of back roads because we really wanted to get there in a you know reasonable amount of time. So I just basically picked up with recording or actually see we're actually recording from his um, k and Spider. We just picked up what we figured was the most interesting part of the video. So once you pretty much get off the main highways and interchanges, we are trying to make our way up to our cabin. And actually our cabin was located in Stenardsville, Virginia. And it is probably was about 20 minutes from actual Shenandoah Valley um, park so we basically just kind of rolled through and I I'm speeding up the video you know for the sake of time because it was a pretty good you know maybe it was about a eight to ten minute drive um, on like this dirt road and stuff and there are residential houses in the area and there are other Airbnbs in the area um, but we had a interesting drive up there some of the things we were concerned about was if um, c was concerned about getting a rock in his drive belt um the canyon rocker doesn't have that concern but my concern was basically not bottoming out or just being very aware of any rocks in the road so that may be your concern too if you ride a spider here we are at the birds and bees cabin Whew. How was that drive there, D? It was fine. It's not as bad as um, going to Bill's Gap and the Dragon. It was a shorter ride. Um, so it was, it was nice. We do a quick walk outside and then we go inside. He's nice here on the outside. In the backyard, I see no baiters. Little deck up there with a, I see a hot tub. I see grass uncut. I see a fire pit over here. With uh, some burnt up logs on the inside. Okay, cool beans. All right, let's go now and check out the inside. Hey, this is D with CD Light, and there's C down there. <laughs> so we have arrived in um, Shenandoah Valley. We stay, we're staying at um, a cabin, Lydia Mountains Vacation Rentals slash Lydia Mountain Cabins. So we are in our cabin now. We um, got here and just brought everything in, and we want to give you a show around of what it looks like. All right. So actually where I'm standing right now, this is the front door. So you basically come in, place has plenty of windows. And right here, what you see is the little seating area. Have the TV up there in the corner. A couch is very comfortable. Both items are very comfortable. The couch and the love seat. Got your coffee table. Here's the AC unit right here. 
and it's doing a great job cooling off in here cooling this lower half of the place off there are two bedrooms upstairs um this is the little sitting bar eating bar and i will leave a link in the description box um for lydia cabins if you're interested in staying here and so check out the flooring love the flooring all right so now we're going to walk our way over to the back door and i'm gonna rotate to my right and got a little i'm calling this the breakfast nook the little coffee nook we have our items there some of our items and a full-size refrigerator and you have your sink and stove over here in the microwave this is the countertop if you're interested i guess it's a form of formica yeah but it looks good it looks you know almost like a type of granite or a solid surface put it that way the sink nice deep sink um, they provide you with dishwashing liquid um, they provide you with cups and pans um, if you want to do a grill outside have a little grill area outside your utensils over here for cooking your knives pot holders um, here's your stove salt and pepper the microwave so it's pretty much got everything you need of course you know you may want to bring paper plates and not have to wash a single thing so um, we're going to make our way to the little kitchen area this is where the little table is the eating nook I would call it and here is the bathroom down here And here's the bathroom. And the shower, shower tub combo. And you see these steps right here? They go up to the bedrooms. Let's check them out. And I will say, if you have a lot of girth to your body, <laughs> it may be a little challenging to go up these stairs. That's what they look like. See, I don't like stairs that don't have something to keep your foot from falling through. So you need to step carefully. I'm sure this is something the kids would love. Hey there, D. Hey, C. Hey there. Let's see down there. So again, I'm coming up the stairs. Smoke detectors are in the facility. And I'm gonna show you, this is where I came from. And this part right here is open to the downstairs. You see the ceiling fan. Okay, if I'm pinning to my left now, Here's one of the bedrooms. I think this is a double bed. Let me turn the light on. Yeah, that's a little better. A double. Now what you have to be careful, here's a low ceiling. And I'm gonna show you the outside of the building in a few. I miss, it's almost like an A-frame, but not a full A-frame if that makes sense. I think this actually was built in 1975 and of course they revamp. So this also right here has a blind, but it is open to the downstairs also. So it's no glass or anything. So if you're having a conversation and you didn't want anybody to hear it, that's not gonna happen. I see C doing the flashlight down there. Let's see. Hey there, see? So as you see, it's over the kitchen right here. So if you're trying to have a private conversation, it's not gonna happen in this cabin. All right, and this is just the other side. 
and a view of the backyard but I'll take you out there too before it gets too dark I will say you definitely need to bring a uh, bug spray like off or something you can wipe on your skin to keep the mosquitoes and the gnats mainly the mosquitoes they will attack you as soon as you get here it's like say oh fresh meat fresh meat here's the other bedroom so let me back out so back in I'm at the stairs I'm gonna pan to my right hand side and this is the other bedroom Now this room, it too is a double and it has an AC unit in that window. Now I will say, we are definitely gonna sleep in here because I am not trying to be hot. <laughs> and there's a ceiling fan over here that's been to circulate, help circulate the air better. So it is comfortable in here. Um, the other room, when we first got in here, it was actually kind of hot. But the room over there has cooled off um, some also. So, but I believe we're both going to be in here uh, on a double bed, which is kind of tight because we normally have a king size bed. So I have to get used to that. Um, but it's a cute little room. No closet. Again, you have to be careful when you walk in here because the ceiling is low you will hit your head if you're not careful all right let's make our way back downstairs safely downstairs okay i'm back downstairs and i want to show you this is a utility closet you have an ironing board an iron down on the floor a mop um there is a broom out here um that we've used to oh excuse me that we used to get the spider webs off the front door. Okay, I'm gonna take you outside to see the outside of the house, around the perimeter of the house, um, and also see the hot tub. Um, it's gonna be fast because I don't wanna get eaten up by mosquitoes, but I will slow the video down for you so you don't get sick watching it. Okay, I'm outside now, and this is what it looks like from the outside. So as you see, we're walking through the front door. Um, it had a bunch of spider webs. See, cleaned them off for me. I think the property uh, manager or whoever did the cleaning could have did that a lot better for spider webs and uh, what we call granddaddy long legs like this. I'm not scared of those, but I just don't want them potentially being in the house. All right. So I'm gonna walk around the property. We covered them up because we're pretty much in for the night. And actually right now it's 6.28 p.m. And this is in Standardsville, Virginia. So this is the back of the property. So you have a fire pit out there. Um, there's some fire wood over there. Now I too... Hopefully one day it would be great if I could actually do like an Airbnb. We'll see. We never know what the Lord has in store, but I would love to um, host, um, have our own little Airbnb property or just a property rental. But this is the back with the deck. It has a hot tub right over there. Chairs to sit in. The little grill right here that I'm sure we won't use. But to me, I think they still should have mowed some of the grass if there was an opportunity before check-in check-ins at four the other people have to be out at 11 the grass should have been mowed in my opinion at least if i had a property that's what i would do to ensure that i'm a great host um and i have my boots on so i'm okay with walking around but i would definitely not walk around if you don't have your boots on and this is the other side You are deep in the woods. There is no reception. There's no signal on my phone. I cannot get a signal for anything. 
Um, again, you're in the mountains, but just no signal here. We got Verizon, so that may affect you. Got direct TV, so that's not too bad. And I don't believe the cabin has uh, any type of Wi-Fi availability. So if I need to make a call, I had to go out on the main road. So this is it. Um, I am pleased overall with it. I am pleased overall with it. Um, it's a place to come and relax and chill out, you know, kind of disconnect from a lot of social media. Um, come out here with your free mind and have your thoughts to yourself. So I am very pleased with it. Oh, it's actually a nice rug on the floor. I didn't show you. But I like that rug. Oh, and some of the decor. I love the decor too. But it's chicken up there. And this is for my ladies. <laughs> um, little pots up there. So things like that. That's cute. Cute touches. Um, I thought this was creative. This looks like there's a PVC pipe or a few loud holes or something that they put as a ring around the bar top. So I kind of like that. If you see that line, I've seen the kind of um, piping in um, Lowe's Home Improvement. So everything here is nice. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this small clipping of where we're staying at. And I will see you in the mountains.